Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dave TV for the 14th of September, 2014. How are you all doing out there? I'm doing good. <laughs> um, today, I wanted to talk to everybody about uh, something new I'm starting. It's a new part of DCR TV. Maybe it'll eventually become its own website, but it's going to be a part of DCR TV. It's going to be called the Cord Cutter. Cord Cutter. You know, the term cord cutting, if you all, you know, anybody in the media knows, is uh, basically when you say adios to your cable TV. Um, and it's a more complicated process than you might think. Um, everything today, media-wise, is much more complicated than it was even 10, 20, especially 30 or 40 years ago. You know, back in the olden days, back when I was a kid, you bought a television set you plugged it into an antenna, either a little rabbit ear set on top where you put an antenna on the roof. You turned it on and you got TV. Okay? That was it. That was really all there was to watch in television. That's it. No, you didn't have to pay anybody. You didn't have to have somebody come in and set it up. You didn't have to, you know, whatever. It just, that was it. You got four, three or four or five channels and it was, it was fine. You know, it was black and white, and it was color, and da 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 da. And you could put TV in another room and do the same thing, and that was fine. Over the years, of course, things have gotten a lot more complicated. You know, back in the late '70s, early '80s, we had started to get cable television, and now it was you know, you know, there were benefits, there were down back drawbacks and benefits to that. You know, now you've got a, you're paying money, but you're also getting a lot more channels, and you don't have to fiddle with the antenna anymore. So, but of course, when you're right in the middle of watching something, the cable would go out. <laughs> it happened a lot. Um, you know, but, and now today, you know, everything's evolved. It's, there's so many more choices for television. You know, you don't just have, there's cable, but cable is a, is a beast with a whole bunch of different options. And there's internet and there's, you know, internet television and there's Roku's and there's Amazon boxes and apple boxes and there's you know of course dvds and everything else you know it's so today what what i'm trying to do with this cord cutter website is basically we can all have a dialogue here where we can talk about what's going on you know is you know here's what happened to me is, is you probably saw my dave tv the other day i get my bill from comcast okay and, you know, I had a promo rate where I was paying 121 bucks for internet and TV. And all of a sudden it jacks up to 184. Okay? Goes up 60 some dollars. One just for the same thing I've been watching. And, you know, and I said to myself, you know, there are some cable channels that I do like. I mean, I love Turner Classic Movies. But there are some cable channels that I occasionally watch. I mean, TBS and Sci-Fi and Science Channel and CNN and whatever. I do occasionally watch those channels. But, you know, is it worth, you know, literally my cable TV bill for the TV side of things was going to be $100 a month. And is it really worth that for me? Now, I'm not saying that everybody should cut the cord. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you need to take a look at what, you're, what you like on television, what your tastes are, and what channels you watch, and whether that's really worth paying for in the, in the traditional way. There are ways of saving a lot of money by, you know, cutting the cord or cutting back your cable service or, or whatever and going to other options, but it depends on what you like. What you, where you live, what kind of reception you get. There's a whole lot of things. It's not simple. So that's why cord cutting is here, or the cord cutter. What am I, what am I going to call it? Dave's starting up a website. I didn't know what he's going to call it. Cord cutter. Cord cutter. <laughs> Anyhow. So, you know, you look at your cable bill, you know, and it's like my bill, and it's like full of things. You know, there's technology fees. There's, you know, communication, sales tax, right-of-way, use fees, PEG fee, whatever that is, the FCC, regulatory fee, sales tax, whatever. You know, all these fees on there, and, and it's, a, it's a bumbling mess, and there's promo rates, and there's, you know, bundling sort of things. And then you look, this is Comcast. This is what Comcast sent me. They send you this every year. It's their list of fees and rates. And it's not just this page. <laughs> it's this page. 
and this page and that page. You know, I mean, you know, it's it's like, good lord. I mean, it's one, two, three, four pages full of small print. This is all the stuff they offer. These are all the charges they offer. You know, some of these things require you to sign a contract. You know, for a certain raid and other things, it's just it's com you know, yeah, and everything is like bundled and funny. There's all different prices. You know, there's not just one price for something. There's this price, and then if you bundle it with this, there's another price, and this price, and this price, and this price, and some of the things include equipment charges, and other things don't, and then and then and then. It's complicated. So what cord cutting, cord cutter is going to do is we're going to have a dialogue here, and we're going to sit down, and we're going to say, okay, let's just take a look and all this stuff. Now, you don't have to go out and cut your cord today or tomorrow or whatever, but keep it in your mind of, you know, when that cable bill comes and you say, I'm paying a hundred plus dollars for my TV service and I'm watching two channels, is it really worth it? You know, are there, is there other ways to get television? And in most people's cases, yes. Is there a way to get free television? Yes. Can everybody get free television? No. Okay. It depends where you live. You know, digital television is out there. Free broadcast television is out there. If mainly what you watch is NBC, CBS, ABC, and Fox, and PBS. Then that's pretty much all you're watching, and you live in a major metropolitan area with, with good TV reception. You know, hey, you may not even need cable anymore. You know, and a lot of these broadcast channels have digital sub-channels. So one channel might actually be three or four different channels. For instance, here in Washington, we have the CW, which is channel 50, and then they have two sub-channels, Antenna TV which is, and This TV, which are both classic TV channels. So you actually get three stations, three channels, 24 hours a day. You know, they're all advertiser stuff, but hey, you know, there's Netflix, there's um, Hulu Plus, there's YouTube. There's a lot of places you can find a lot of television out there. And so what we're going to do here at Cord Cutter, I find Cord Cutter, the Cord Cutter, is we're going to look at all those different options, okay? It's, you know, going to do different shows, different different YouTube videos on, on different ways of, you know, we're going to look one day at uh, what's up with Netflix and Roku, what's a Roku, what are the different other streaming boxes, you know, a lot of your TV now you can watch on the internet, you know, um, you know, you don't have to watch it on cable. And, and in fact, cable companies are actually moving more and more of their channels to the Internet. You know, Comcast now has a whole page full of channels. You can just watch live on the Internet. You don't even need a box anymore. So, you know, there's a whole lot of crazy things um, going on. So that's what I'm doing here. Officially, officially launching DCRTV.com slash... <laughs> what is that? Cord... Cutter, whatever. I'm gonna, you know, whatever. It's good. The link will be on. You know, check the little comments down here. The link will be on it. So, cord. Yeah, it's just gonna be. It's gonna be. I know it. It's gonna be dcrdv.com slash cord cutter. That's all you gotta write. dcrdv.com slash cord cutter. One word. Okay. dcrdv.com slash cord cutter, and that'll get you to the cord cutting website. And then we're gonna have. We're gonna have. And I want your input too. I want to know if you've cut the cord. How you're doing, what you're watching, what how you're getting your television, what kind of stuff you're watching. I want to know everybody's setup. I want to know how you're doing it or why you're not doing it. You know, the problem is this. Say you love sports. You love watching live sports. You love ESPN and all the different ESPN channels. Cutting your cord might be the wrong thing to do because, you know, there's, there's a lot of that live sports you can only get through cable. You know, there's, so there's certain things... That, you know, you might have to say, now you might be able to say, for example, you like food, you like food, <laughs> you like food television, you know, you get like Food Network, but maybe you don't need that full package of channels. Maybe you can get Food Network on a, you know, less expensive tier, you know, so check it out if that's all you're watching. So, you know, there's a lot of different questions and it's very complicated and we're going to try to make some sense of it here at dcrtv.com slash cord cutter. There you go. <laughs> okay? So as I say on Dave TV all the time, stay tuned.